This mission to the moon could be underway in two years, flown by a private company hoping to win a $20 million contest. West Shoes Dan Billow tells us about work quietly underway at the Kennedy Space Center for this robotic moon flight. A simulated moonscape at the Kennedy Space Center is the perfect place to test a brand new moon lander that could win a $20 million prize. When finished, the donut shaped lander will be about the size of a kitchen table. A series of flight tests on a prototype will start next week in the same place where NASA flies its larger Morpheus lander. The Moon Express tests are going on at the old space shuttle runway just a couple of miles from here, but so far, they're not letting anybody out there while they're testing. It's such an honor to be working hard on a private lander to reach the Moon at the place where the United States reached the Moon. The founder of Moon Express spoke to us by phone from the shuttle runway. The Moon Express lander will fly tests similar to the Morpheus lander, but at a lower altitude. The new lander is designed to hitchhike to the moon on a rocket such as an Atlas that will carry a satellite as its main cargo. It's also designed to win a $20 million prize from Google as the first privately built robotic lander to reach the moon. Winning the prize for us uh, would definitely be uh, icing on the cake. And uh, we certainly have been inspired by the prize and, and applaud and support it. Thinks they can get there in about two years, almost 50 years after the first astronauts. Why go? Moon Express says the moon is full of energy and materials that can benefit people on Earth, and we need to explore it. At the Kennedy Space Center, Dan Billow, West 2 News.